welcome. I'm doing a special new moon in Virgo reading for all the Virgos out there or anyone with Virgo placements in their chart. Please remember to flip and switch roles. Um, if something doesn't seem to resonate, then it may not be for you, so just go ahead and leave it for someone else, okay? All right. Actually, I'm not going to use that one. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so someone could be experiencing some karma here, perhaps good karma I'm seeing with the Ace of Cups, and it is upright. And I see a bright moon. Also, sometimes uh, new moon readings can be a little weird because the moon, apparently the logic behind it is that the, the moon isn't um, full, so it's not as illuminated and things can be hidden. Or possibly I will find hidden things, so let's see. second here. Okay. Ooh, on the bottom of the deck we have expect powerful change new moon eclipse. So I'm going to keep this one. It, it fits with, you know, where we're going. Um, so yeah, I feel like there is some good karma. Excuse me, I just have to, my glasses are, they're just, uh, I can't see. <laughs> they're foggy because it's a little hot. Okay, um, yeah, I feel like there's good karma coming in for someone. I'm seeing the color purple here. Someone could very much well resonate with the color purple. What else for Virgos? After, guys, I am going to do a reading for all signs. Oop, we have something flipped over here. What is that? Luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. So lots of new moon energy here. Someone could also have Sagittarius in their chart. Like anywhere, it doesn't matter if it's sun, moon, rising, one of the planets, your north node, south node, I don't care. Anywhere, okay? Confidence is your key to success. So someone here may be a Leo. Another new moon energy, guys. Seriously, this is great. Okay. Don't let pride get in your way, full moon and Leo. So yeah, some of you could be um, Virgo Leo cuspers for sure. Um, we're just getting out of Leo season here, so I'm definitely, you know, feeling this. Full moon, we just had a full moon in Leo. Did we have a full moon in Leo? Or was it a new moon? I can't remember, either way. And also at the bottom of the deck, um, your commitment, oh, and I'm going to take, I'm going to take it, guys. There's a new moon in Virgo right here. I just lifted up this commit, your commitment is being tested, and um, a time to give rather than to take new moon in Virgo. Okay, so guys, we have a lot of good messages here. I just want to say a lot of new moon energy, a lot of the old stuff going away, a lot of the new wonderful things coming in. Okay, so you could feel refreshed in, at work, in your relationships, in your friendships. I'm just getting a really new feeling from you, Virgo, like just everything is new, new, new. And now is also the time to make lists on what you plan to manifest in this next period up until the full moon of next month. Um, so you know whether or not, whether that's like working on, you know, make a manifestation list, like what are things you want to do? Okay, I want to drop five pounds or I want to work out every day. I don't care about losing weight or you want to eat better or you want to drink less or you want to smoke weed less or you know whatever um you want to work harder okay you want to make more money you want to focus on your side gigs whatever it is just write these things down look at it every day um you know in the morning start making lists for yourself you know um like okay today i want to do like every day here's an idea every day uh wake up in the morning um give yourself five things you want to complete for tasks for yourself for the day. 
you know, oh, I have to call a doctor today, so put that on the list. Um, just personal things, not work, right? <laughs> because sometimes work gets crazy for us Virgos, you know, and we're really honed in on the Virgo part of ourselves and like, you know, we forget to sometimes take care of ourselves, right? And I know that like, it's a time to give rather than to take. Virgo is probably not the, the thing you want to hear right now, but you know, it's, karma will come back around for you soon. Okay. If it's not already, it looks like it is by the way. Okay. Um, I'm going to get more on your commitment is being tested. I'm actually going to move these down here. Okay. So with your commitment is being tested, you could be in some sort of separation phase with someone and I feel like right now is not the time for impulsivity. Okay, so like if you feel yourself needing to now is, you know, you may be in separation from someone or something and I feel like right now is is the time to to not give in to any sort of impulsivity and keep on track on to whatever it is you're committed to. Okay. Don't back down. Don't let get fear get in your way, you know. I see a new portal for you opening up here, Virgo. Um, this could have recently been the 9-9 portal. This could also be the portal in October, the 10-10 portal, which is going to be very significant for a lot of people. Um, okay, so let's get what's going on with Virgo for this new moon. What's the new moon energy for Virgo? King of Swords upright. Okay, Virgo, you could be dealing with a Libra or someone with Libra in their chart. This could also be you. King of Cups upright. This is beautiful energy, okay? Really beautiful energy here. Emotionally stable, speaking truths. There's nothing being hidden here. I like this, okay. Um, so for some of you connecting to a masculine, I would say that if things were recently kind of weird with you guys, I feel like they're now kind of turning a new leaf, okay? Um, randomly I'm seeing someone got new pants or something. I don't know what that's about. Maybe it's your birthday. Oh, okay. Um, and then we have a queen of pentacles in reverse. So we're going to go into her for a moment. I'm not really sure. She's behind the king of cups. So I don't know. We'll see here. All right, let's get some more for Virgo, please. This could just be a warning about money, Virgo. Oh, prince of cups. What else? Two of coins. Okay, what else? Eight of wands, action, new beginnings, forward movement. Okay, we have some good cards here. Some of you could be very artistic. I'm seeing a lot of, I mean, this is an artistic deck for sure, um, but I'm seeing someone specifically into painting here. Um, someone could also have just got a new bike. I also see, um, someone could be, I don't know if you're like in, in the circus or something, but I'm seeing someone that is very flexible and can do like, you know, backflips, um, stuff like that. Spencer, I'm getting the name Spencer. That's what that was. I was like, what is, <laughs> I'm getting a name, but it's just not coming out. It was weird. I'm also getting the name Kai. Gina. Christopher. Kenneth, Tilly, okay, what's the King of Swords here? Yeah, okay, so something is in its last stages here, Virgo, there's I 
I feel like this is something that, you know, you and someone else that have been waiting on for a while here. There's like one last, last thing to accomplish here, which is what I think it is talking about here with your commitment is being tested. I feel like you, you're, you're, you're feeling strong. I see you're feeling strong here. But like, don't go overboard with the pride, okay? Don't be like, you're like, cause you're hot, Virgo. But don't let that, you know, get in your way. As soon as I sit down to do a reading, people decide that they need things. So that may resonate with you. It can be very annoying, can it? Um. Anyway, where was I going with this? Okay, so you may feel like. You know, you're really hot, like I was saying, but like, you know, don't go too overboard with it. Um, you know, yeah, people do need to rise up to your level, but don't like set your intentions or intentions, I meant um, expectations, too high. You know what I mean? Like a king of swords is like, yes, they're clear and concise, but they're not like egotistical. Okay, they're very fair. Like this could also be you connecting to a king of swords here. Okay, who's this King of Swords with the Nine of Wands, please? Virgo, I'm seeing that you've recently um, got some gray hair, but I'm going to tell you right now it's beautiful, okay, so you don't need to worry about it. You may be kind of looking at like, oh God, you know, but like just appreciate it because it's just part of life, you know? I also, re I also got like, what is that? It's either a moth or... Oh, I think it's a moth. Well, you know, look up the spiritual meaning of a moth. Um, it's quite big, actually. Okay, anyway. Um, I just saw, like, a penis in my cards, even though they're... I mean, there's not... I mean, the wands do look like penises, so I feel like... You, the connection between you and some someone else is very sexual, okay? Also, a lot of wands here, again, there's, in, in this time in the reverse here, the seven of wands in reverse, I'm seeing, um, kind of an in and out energy with you and someone else, okay? And I'm also, again, with the penis, I'm seeing, like, a very big, big penis, okay? <laughs> I don't know why. It's actually quite funny. Um, okay. Uh, someone may also have a pierced penis. Okay. What else here? Like a Prince Albert or something like that. What else with the King of Swords? Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This has been a tough road with whoever this King of Swords is, whether that's you or them. Um, it's been hard here. Okay. It, it's. There could be a loss here with this person, or this could be a recent someone that you've broken up with or ended things with. I do see them coming back around. I feel like it's them coming back around in your energy. And again, if this isn't a person, this is to do with perhaps just in general money is has been difficult for you. Okay, it's just like... You know, all the bills are piling up, all, you know, work isn't paying you enough, and maybe you're trying to sell your house, maybe you're trying to get a new apartment, and it's just like the timing is very stressful, and it's like you could have to move out and move in within a certain period of time, and you're just like sitting there like trying to breathe, and you're like, oh my god, I'm freaking out. You just, the luck, I'm here to tell you, luck is on your side, Virgo, I feel like it is going to come together for you, it doesn't mean you don't want to do the work, obviously, don't like pride in your way, but you want to be confident. You know what I mean? And in this, in this period of stress, you know, I feel like it would be helpful to, you know, if you can do some sort of charity work, volunteer work, it will really uplift your spirits. You know what I mean? I did that recently, um, for some people and it was just, it was really nice because it was like, no, I wasn't getting paid, but it was, 
it was nice to be a part of something where, you know, it's helping the community. Okay. Okay. So what's here with the King of Cups? Who, what's the situation? The lovers. Okay. So someone could have Scorpio in their chart or Gemini. This could also be you. The lovers can be a choice. So you could be kind of trying to choose between a King of Swords and a King of Cups. I'm also seeing someone could be a beekeeper or work with bees in some sort of way. Or maybe you're just like really into bees. Like you just think they're the coolest thing. And they are actually, they're really cute. <laughs> What else here are the lovers? I kind of look at them, it's weird, like some insects, I kind of look at them and I'm like, you're kind of like a cat. It's like the weirdest thing to think probably, but like, I don't know, the, the way they, they act. <laughs> okay. Someone here is going on some sort of adventure, I feel like. I'm not getting, like, I, the, the Eight of Cups came out. I'm not getting, like, a walking away from love. I'm getting more, like, going on an adventure, okay? So you could be going on a trip. I'm seeing mountains. I'm seeing, yeah, like, a lot of green. Just everything's green and blue, okay, and, and yellow, Beautiful. Okay. I'm also seeing a sunset here with the lovers as well. What else with the lovers and the eight of cups? So someone could be feeling really balanced after some sort of trip or something. I don't know. The hanged man. Yeah. So yeah, I'm getting a very like relaxed vibe from someone here. Like you're just, I don't know. I feel like, you know, after you do whatever you're doing here, you're going to really feel in your purpose. <laughs> okay, this is a really weird thing to say, guys, but um, someone here has a really nice um, female, you know. Okay, what's the hanged man here? Three of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, I'm getting a little warning here that someone, uh, some friends may not be as innocent as you think they are. There's some sort of weird energy with them, okay? In fact, some of you may be feeling stuck at some points, like you want to get out of something, but you can't. <laughs> I don't know what the, it's like good and not so good. I don't know what that's about. What's the Three of Pentacles here? Yeah, okay. So, Virgo, one of your friends here is actually quite devious. Oh. Here's the King of Swords again. Okay, so some of you may actually have some sort of Libra friend. I'm getting a lot of Libra here. The King of Swords is here twice. And the first time they came around, it's not so great energy. Um, for some of you as well, the King of Swords is not the devious friend. Um, actually... I feel like they're protecting you from someone who is mischievous. They could be someone who talks shit or something. Lots of gossip. I feel like they're actually, this could be a spirit guide kind of blocking them out of your energy or something. This is interesting energy here.
Some of you could feel very shaken up at the moment because of something that's happened. You know, maybe you just recently caught wind of some sort of talk about you. And someone has told you what happened. This King of Swords doesn't have to be a man. It just, it's someone in masculine energy here. And then I get, you know, for some of you as well, I feel like, so the Three of Pentacles is typically like three people, right? Three people talking, conversing in reverse. So I was getting this in, in, in my um, collective reading the other day on some sort of trip that, I don't know what this is about, but like there's, someone could be hanging you out to dry, like... Do be careful of like jealous, jealous people. I feel like you may need to watch your back with someone. Okay, like someone may be very, very, very jealous of you, your life, what you're doing, your success. I just feel like a little bit of a panic, guys. So just, I don't know. It feels like an urgent message kind of actually. They may be planning to do something kind of messed up with you. Um, so just watch out. This person may have red sneakers. And one of them may wear a lot of blue. Okay, those that's just what I'm going with. But that... Okay, what else here with the Queen of Pentacles? They may not actually do anything. They may just like, I don't know. The Hierophant. The Six of Pentacles. And the Ace of Swords. Hmm, that's actually quite interesting. So there's some very traditional feminine energy. I feel like this person has some sort of platform where they say things about people to people. This could be one of these two people, okay? They're in like a distorted feminine energy. It's very strange. I also think over here, this King of Cups energy is telling you to, if you notice these people acting this way, to not really act on it, but just keep it in mind and know this for the future. I feel like you shouldn't really act aggressively towards them because they could be dangerous, especially if they get together, but perhaps just kind of like keep that in mind for the future and whether or not you want to hang out with them again. That's kind of the message I'm getting with that. They could also be trying to steal from you. This is really like resonating with my other reading the other day, the collective reading. Um, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This could be someone that someone is related to here. She doesn't really have a lot of money herself, but I do believe that it, she is given lots of money. She maybe like begs for it or something. I don't know what that's about. Um, for some of you, if I'm talking to a male here, you, you may notice that she like will offer sexual favors in exchange for money. I don't really think she's like a prostitute, but she's kind of like a, um, I feel like she's your partner or something and she will be like, Hey, um, and like give you a blowjob in exchange for money. <laughs> like it's 
really like kind of a strange message I'm getting here. Okay. <laughs> She's actually very religious as well. I feel like whatever this is, is going to become clear to you. Um, you may have like not really realized it before. And I feel like you're all of a sudden going to be like, Oh, her favorite color may be yellow or she may like gold, like lots and lots of gold jewelry. Honestly, what I'm getting is like in a past life, no offense guys, but I think she used to be a prostitute in a past life, okay? So she still kind of carries that with her into this life. Like I'm, I'm really seeing like, you know, um, what was that Jack the Ripper era? I don't know, like 1800 something, 18, what is it, 1850s, 1840s, maybe 1890s, something like that, I, I don't know. I'm just feeling it's like that time frame of one of her past lives and she was actually a prostitute. And she's not quite grown out of that, if that makes sense. She did, I feel like she did level up in some way in her life. She's, she's trying. Um, <laughs> but it's just, she's not quite there. And I'm not really getting a, a you know, something too terrible from her. She could just be a little... I don't know, just something's a little off. Maybe you don't completely resonate with her anymore or something, I don't know. I'm not gonna dig too much into her because I don't feel like she's that bad here with the Ace of Swords upright in the Hierophant. I feel like she's, maybe she's just still learning on how to stop being so weird. <laughs> it's like, you know, you can, you can still, you know, do things with me and not for money. Or maybe perhaps she is using you for money and maybe that's going to become clear that you know, she, I also feel like there's someone in your energy who's been waiting for you to give them attention. Okay. What's the Prince of Cups here? Oh, Ooh. Okay. So someone here is a divine masculine with the emperor. Okay. I see an offer coming in to you, Virgo, here. I don't know if you're the emperor or what, but I do see an offer coming into someone here, and the offer is love with the two of cups, okay? Um, someone here could really like apples. Someone could have a really nice watch. I'm seeing the color red. You could wear a lot of red. You could be growing, you could have, like, I was getting the gray hair. I feel like someone is getting gray in their beard. And it looks really nice, actually. You know, I, I don't feel like you need to feel weird about it or anything. Okay. I'm seeing a lot of, of upright masculine energies right now. So someone is very much into their masculine power. Um, you're looking good. You're, I don't know if you're, if you're male or female, it really does not matter. Okay. You're just, you're really well balanced emotionally at the moment. Again, I'm seeing mountains. I'm getting the name, the name Michael. Peter. Randomly also Orion. Okay. Okay, what is this two of coins here? So for some of you, I'm getting a story now. Okay, um, interesting. Um, there's someone here, actually now, now I'm wondering, who's this, uh, what's this two of cups? Page of cups in reverse. Page of Cups in Reverse, Page of Cups Upright, Page of Cups in Reverse. Okay, whatever your current situation, okay. For some of you, you have one energy over here of this person who had a past life of being a prostitute <laughs> that I was talking about. And then there's another energy over here that's kind of disappointing. There's some 
sort of like good and bad energy with it. It's like, it's very good. It's pretty deep, you know, it's past service level, but there's something also disappointing about it. Okay. But you're also showing up here as a divine masculine. What's this page of cups reverse? Four of swords. Something's on hold at the moment with the Four of Swords. There's just um, something that's not quite coming in, okay? I see two people in the background in this in this window. Um, I see someone on their knees. I don't know what they're doing, if you know what I mean. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I just see something on hold, and perhaps that's why it's disappointing. And up here, I'm just, yeah, like something. Okay, so then we have the Page of Pentacles in reverse here with the Two of Coins. What's the other side of the coin here? Okay, now we have a lot. Ooh, it's, oh, oh, oh shit, Virgo. Okay, there's you, there's you, Virgo. Or this is also Leo energy, but something's about to be revealed about some sort of Knight of Pentacles energy here, okay? So, guys, check it out, all right? Someone here could be a little obsessed. I don't know if you both are obsessed with each other or if, like... The Moon in Reverse, too, is like a release of anxiety about something. Lots of, like, this and that energy. We have, like, quid pro quo, quid pro quo up here, and then we have, like, some other kind of energy down here, which is, like, someone who doesn't actually need your money or something. And you may worry that they don't need you very much. I don't know. That's really strange. Eight of Wands here. I'm seeing someone that's, um, actually, I just, I wonder, what is this, uh, what's this Page of Pentacles right here in reverse? King of Pentacles. Oh, okay. So someone here just keeps, like, an eye on someone or something. This is Taurus energy as well. <laughs> I see you, like, watching this person, just, like, keeping them, you know, you just kind of, you keep an eye on them. I don't know exactly what you're doing with them. But they're very, like, um, independent, okay? But that doesn't mean that they don't like you or they're not into you, okay? But I feel like maybe you're learning to release that anxiety of maybe you guys are kind of turning a new leaf with the relationship and you're, like, kind of worried because they aren't acting as they used to. Um, but I feel like you're just coming into a more balanced energy. You could almost like miss the past too. You could almost be like, oh, I kind of miss it when they were like obsessive <laughs> or something. And it's like, that's trauma bonding energy. You don't really want that long term because if long term stuff like that turns into possessiveness and it makes it really difficult to actually have like a normal relationship without people like freaking out and, you know, doing unhealthy things. Okay. So I feel like you're going to have to kind of let go of that old energy and welcome the new. Because wouldn't you rather have a partner that feels comfortable in their own skin that isn't, you know, freaking out all the time? Even though it may make you feel special and good, um, long term, that's not going to feel good. That may be just something you're used to. Maybe your other partner was like this, this prostitute. <laughs> I don't know what else to call her. Uh, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Um, <laughs> maybe she was like that, and she doesn't have to be a she. It can be. It doesn't matter the sex. Okay. So I feel like you're going to have to um, kind of recognize this new energy and be like, yes, okay, this is good. This feels good. It feels good to um, not be so feeling like you're walking on eggshells, or you know that. Oh, is something happening? Like. It's almost like someone here could kind of be addicted to, I don't want to say panic, but it's almost like being addicted to fighting and um, making up. Okay, so what 
while that might be very interesting to your mind and body, it's not actually healthy. And like, it, it causes like, what's the word for what's that stress hormone? Um, whatever it is that I'm thinking of that actually like is bad for you. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, there's other ways to, if you're like really someone that's into, you know, feeling that kind of energy, there's other healthier ways to do that, you know, in the BDSM world, you know, there's healthier ways to, um, if that's something you're into kind of experience without it being toxic in a relationship. So maybe it, Maybe worth, you know, trying out blindfolds and having someone do some sort of, I don't know, like, um, oh, what are those? Like, uh, you know, just being blindfolded and not being able to, like, use your hands. Um, and then the other person just kind of does things to you. <laughs> like, obviously do this safely, but like, you know, it could be anything from like flogging to spanking to um, maybe poking, pinching, you know, make whatever list you want to make. But like, there's healthier ways to do that. And then if you're into like that, you know, after that happens, maybe you do like a switch and you get to dominate them after experiencing that, um, that shocking feeling. You know what I mean? Okay. So, um, eight of wands, maybe I just gave you a really good idea for your partner. I don't know, but here's the eight of wands. What is that? Okay. New options coming in with the seven of cups. There's just new opportunities for you. I feel like whatever this is, is like a new opportunity. What else here? Three of Wands in reverse. So some of these options, I almost called you Sagittarius, okay, Virgo, um, will put you back into past energy. And I feel like it's kind of your duty at this point to make sure that you're painting your... Um, path forward instead of to the past. Okay. What else with the eight of wands? Ooh. Ooh, justice. Okay. Justice. Yeah, there's some good karma coming in here. I feel like you're, you're definitely, um, like I said, something is being tested here. Okay. But I feel like it's, you You have a new path forward here and I feel like you're going to make the right decision, six of swords here to move forward into a new beginning. Okay, I feel like also two pentacles in reverse, yeah. The world, something is coming in here, this 10 of cups as well. Um, some of you may have to go through some sort of tower moment, which is something that you don't necessarily see coming. Um, but I do feel like this is relationship based for sure. Um, I just feel like you need to kind of come, you may be kind of like feeling restless with the current energy because the relationship is changing and evolving, but it's just because you don't need to be toxic anymore. I don't know if, you know, you've learned toxic traits from past, from past, um, people, right? But you no longer need to do that, Virgo. You can... There's other ways to experience these feelings without making it toxic, with trusting your partner, with um, finding out or experiencing these new things together. Maybe you just need a little bit of change of pace. Maybe you've been into one thing for too long. You know, maybe you've, I don't know. <laughs> like you just need to kind of experiment. You know, it's just, it's time to change things up here. All right. And that could be hard if you're resonating with the King of Pentacles energy because, you know, you could just, it could be hard for you to get up off this throne here and, and throw yourself into a new direction. But I feel like you just need to try something new in the kinky department, honestly. I don't know why this message is coming in like this, but I hope more of my readings do this actually because this is kind of cool. All right. Well, thank you, Virgo, for your time. And I hope you guys have an excellent day. Please like, share.